I'd like to thank the New York State Bar Association Law, Youth, and Citizenship Program and Eileen Garish for helping us and assisting with the essay content. Of course, the Chautauqua Sports Hall of Fame for getting Sharon here with us. And so we can't thank them enough for their... And Alstrom Schaefer, the Cattaraugus County Bank, the Chautauqua Region Community Foundation. Randy is right over there. And the Comfort Inn, Cummins Engine, Double A Vineyards, E.E. E. Austin and Son, Evans Discount Liquor, Hope's Windows, The Legend Group, Kurt and Joyce Seckler, Serta Mattress, Schultz Management Group, and Truck Light Incorporated. And so again, please recognize all of our sponsors for helping make this possible. I'm proud to welcome author, educator, and ambassador to Major League Baseball, Sharon Robinson, to the podium in our Carl Kappa Theater. Today, Ms. Robinson will share her book, Jackie's Nine, Jackie Robinson's Values to Live By, and how those values were so instrumental in her father's being able to accomplish a monumental change in American sports and American culture. We are genuinely graced by her visit today and anxiously await hearing her words. At this time, it is my pleasure and honor to introduce to you Sharon Robinson. Well, thank you so much, Paul. Um, I, I share uh, the joy in seeing all of your, you, all these young faces, um, but also uh, thank all the teachers and parents who made it possible for you to come today. Uh, I, you know, you never know what's going to happen when, when weather when acts up. So I, I'm really showed you. All, you used all nine values to get here. So. From five different schools from the Warren School District, and so please stand when I say your name. Hannah Ruland from the Beatty Warren Middle School. Nick Collins from Russell Elementary School. Dakota Hensel from Youngsville Elementary Middle School. Lily Darling from Sugar Grove Elementary School, and Carter O'Donnell from Sheffield Area Middle High School. Please recognize <laughs> This essay contest for many years has been the baby of the New York State Bar uh, Association. Our, our first winner is a student from the Mount Olive Middle School in Wyandotte, New York, located in Suffolk County. Um, for, uh, I believe this is going on three or four years consecutively, uh, they have had a winner in the essay contest. Uh, so they are coming all the way across state, uh, sometimes in not too good weather, uh, but they've uh, stayed the course, and, and um, Devin is just one more in a long line from that school that can go back and wave her banner high and say, okay, who's next? Um, Mount Olive, as I said, uh, set winners to the podium for many years under the direction of Miss Ellen Benedetto, who, along with her students, uh, have just done a fantastic job in, in being uh, supporters of our program here. Uh, I'd like to read a little excerpt out of Devin's essay uh, before we call her up. What this book says to me is that I should be determined and stick with my own beliefs and not let anyone put me down. It encourages me to be true to myself and to others. Finally, Jackie's life story reminds me that I can succeed no matter how difficult life may seem at times. It is our pleasure to award the fifth and sixth grade uh, essay uh, awards uh, to Devin Hall. Our next winner is a student at the Wilson Foundation Academy uh, School in the Rochester City School District. And I believe we have also had multiple winners from that school uh, come to the podium to be honored for their work in the essay contest. Um, I'd like to read uh, an excerpt from Eleanor's, 
Pass eight. Making sure I have that one on. <laughs> this message is very important to me because it has taught me to have values so they can lead me through life and help me climb the mountains of my college, my future career, and life. The values in Jackie's nine create a checklist. Am I being honest and fair? Am I a responsible member of the community? Do I want justice for everyone? Am I committed to doing what I am doing? Do I strive for excellence in everything I do? These are the questions I'll ask myself every day to make sure I'm using the values I learned. And it is our pleasure to award the seventh and eighth grade award to Eleanor Anderson Zeit. Our final essay award winner comes to us from right here in Jamestown. You didn't have to brave the weather. He braves it every day when you go. Uh, and in about two weeks, I think baseball season starts, doesn't it? So they may be throwing snowballs instead of baseball. Um, Jacob is a senior at Jamestown High School and a student of Mr. Nell Conai, who was involved here at the Jackson Center as well. Uh, he's been involved in numerous activities, and his essay provides evidence that many of the values discussed in Sharon's book are part of those activities. And I will once again read the excerpt. <laughs> Fighting for what's right and what one believes in and trying to be the best person one can be regardless of the challenges one's, one faces are the values that resonate with me. I can use this message to motivate me in tasks as simple as schoolwork, being a good son and brother, and even helping me achieve success on the baseball field. And it is our pleasure to award the 9 through 12 essay award uh, to Jacob Kimber. I've kind of, kind of grabbed my dad and be a part of it. You know, that was the first book I did on my dad. Uh, I know I, uh, <laughs> I was very determined as a teenager to have a dis figure out who Sharon was and uh, and and have my own career. And my dad supported that. And I had all these years as a as a nurse and as a nurse midwife, a twenty some odd career, twenty year career, over twenty year career as a nurse and a nurse midwife. So when I, I, in 1997, when my son graduated from high school, I approached baseball because it was a 50th anniversary and I was doing all these um, throwing out of first pitches and visiting ballparks and the media kept saying it's just, just about celebrations and so that was how really, really teach character and how can I use my dad's life to teach character lessons. And I came into baseball and, uh, you know, I realized that nine was such an important number in baseball that I said, well, the values have got to be nine values. And then I didn't, because it's in a school-based program, I had to find values that were universal and really reflected my father, but also would help kids understand um, life and their own life and how to deal with things in their own lives. And so that's how I came up with the, with the uh, nine values. And it had to be based on my father's life and my life and someone else, I could choose the other person. And that's really how Jackie's Nine came to be. A classic, multiple voices that will uh, um, demonstrate. I said, these, my father taught me these values not by printing them on a wall and saying, you know, studying these values, but really how he lived and how my parents lived. So I wanted kids to be able to make it as real for themselves and, and by using examples from, from men and women who uh, had something written about them and had overcome obstacles in their own lives and using these values, you know, it was just a great way to share uh, my father's legacy but also help kids understand what these, how these values can be applied to their own lives.